Hello friends, welcome to Python programming. This is module 1, Introduction to Python. In this module, we are going to look at what is Python, history of Python, and what is the need for learning Python, some applications of Python language, what are the different features of Python, Python shell, how to write and run Python scripts, and about idle. Ideal is a GUI environment for developing Python programs and we are also going to look at some of the language concepts like variables, assignments and what are the different keywords available in Python and how to take input and print something as output in Python programs and finally we will close the discussion in this module with inundation. So before going to look at what is Python, let's see some statistics. These statistics are grabbed from the website tube.com. Uh, this is a standard index. So you can see the current rank of Python is 4 in 2016 as well as in 2017. And here is more historical data. Here you can see that in 1997 the rank of python was 27 and now gradually it has changed to 5 and rather than numbers here is graph so here the orange line represents python and some of the famous applications which are currently using python are youtube a video sharing application Dropbox, a file sharing application, Google, a search engine, Quora, a question answer application, Instagram, uh, a website for say, sharing pictures and videos, BitTorrent, a file sharing system, Spotify, music sharing application, Reddit, a question and answer application, Yahoo Maps using which you can navigate maps, and finally Hipmunk. So these are only some of the applications which are using Python. For a complete list of applications, you can refer this URL. Now, what is Python? Before going to look at the definition, let's see how the language got its name. A uh, developer of Python was fond of a British comedian group called Monty Python, uh, whose show's name is Flying Circus. So, developer of the Python language named the language after Monty Python. And now, definition of Python language. Python is a multi paradigm, means it supports multiple programming models like object oriented programming, functional programming, and also procedural programming. It is a high level language, it is user friendly and it's a general purpose language in the sense you can develop pretty much anything using python and finally it's a scripting language who created python so developer of python is guido van rosum rosum Ozum. and little work history of this guy from 2005 to 2012, he worked at Google and after 2012, he is working at Dropbox. Already we have seen some applications which are using Python. We will see a few more. Shopzilla, a retail application. Uh, NASA, American organization. And you can also see games like Quake, Battlefield. Uh, Yahoo Maps, we have seen this already, and an animation production organization, Walt Disney, and this Blender, this is a graphics application for developing 3D models. Now let's look at some of the history of Python. Python was initially developed in 1989, the work started in 1989 and many of the concepts in python are inspired from abc language which itself is inspired by another language called settle 
Settle is set theory language. And first official release Python 1.0 was on 20th February 1991. Another, that is next major release 2.0 was on 16th October 2000. And another major release 3.0 was on 3rd December 2008. And the current latest stable release is Python 3.6.1 which was released in March 2017. So, what is the need of learning Python? We have so many languages, so why to go for Python? The two main reasons are software quality and developer productivity. So, what is this software quality? Uh, software developed using Python is highly maintainable and it's easy to maintain means it's easy to understand the programs and perform modifications on it. So the resulting thing is software which is of high quality and developer productivity. When you compare Python with other languages like C, C++, Java, it's very easier to write programs in Python. Many of the times you will observe that the number of lines of code for doing the same task in Python is very much less than these languages. So hence, high developer productivity. And also, programs written using Python are portable. Means, a program written on one machine can be run on any other machine irrespective of the hardware and operating system and python has many libraries a library is a predefined set of code python has its own built-in libraries as well as third-party libraries using which we can pretty much develop any kind of application and the final thing is component integration means in a large application, some of the modules can be written using other languages like C and C++ and they can be combined into a single application using Python. Now let's look at some of the applications of Python. Python can be used for system programming, means it can be used to develop system software like operating systems, compilers, loaders, etc. It can be used for developing graphical user interfaces. It can be used for developing websites using frameworks like Django. Uh, as discussed earlier, it can be used for component integration. And this is very important. Almost any application needs data to be stored in a database. So Python can be used to store data in databases like SQL Server, MySQL, and so on. And Python can be used for prototyping. That means we can uh, quickly develop mockups of our end applications. And this is very important. It is used for numeric and scientific programming. Um, the reason why Python is becoming more popular nowadays is because of these things. Data science. And one more thing called machine learning since these things are becoming popular oh, i forgot uh, python supports many libraries which support both data analytics in data science and also machine learning. Since these things are becoming popular, automatically Python is also becoming popular. And now let's look at some of the features of Python. As discussed earlier, Python supports object orientation as well as functional concepts like closures, lambdas and more. I'll cover these things in future videos. And also Python is free. You can develop Python free of cost from internet and also you can modify source code. Source code is available. As discussed earlier, Python is portable. It is also powerful. Uh, we say it is powerful because of features like dynamic typing, automatic garbage collection, 
etc. Uh, Python is mixable. I already told you that some of the modules can be developed using other programming languages and mix it with Python. And also, Python is easy to use and easy to learn. So these are the things that I wish to talk in this video. Remaining concepts in module one will be covered in next video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please do comment. Bye.